Hey guys, it's Kay. I hope you're all looking after yourselves. Now today I'm looking at an application that brings together all your live TV content, whether that's free content or subscription-based content. Now it's all brought together in this one single app, with a fully working EPG, and it doesn't need the mouse toggle application or a VPN application, and it even has a DVR function that allows you to record straight to the cloud, and the best thing of all, it works on all your Android devices, including the Nvidia Shield TV Pro. So without further ado, let's have a look at this app. If you're new to the channel and you want to stay up to date with the latest tech tutorials, reviews and unboxings, I do everything including Fire Stick, Raspberry Pi and Android TV tips and tricks, so subscribe and hit the notification button. Ok guys, so I've installed this application on my Nvidia Shield TV, and I can confirm I'm not running any VPN software, and I'm currently based in the UK. Ok, so for my quick overview of the application, I'm going to cover some of the settings, some of the features, and how to use the DVR function. Then I'm going to show you how to get this app and install it, and then activate it. Ok, when you first log into the app, you're going to get the following menu on the left hand side. You're going to get all channels, DVR and settings. Now in terms of channels, I'm based in the UK, so I'm getting around 60 free channels. Now there's a good range here covering most categories, and of course you can always add your subscription based content as well. And the great thing here is that most of these channels are HD content, so you're going to get a good viewing experience. Now when you first log in, what you won't see is a favourite setting. Now to get this, you want to long press on a channel you want to add to your favourites. This will bring up a window. This will show you what program is currently running on that channel. And from here you've got options to record the remainder of the episode, record the series or add the channel to your favourites. So I'm going to select add to favourites. Then you should see the favourites option appear on the left hand side menu. And now if we select favourites you'll see we have that one channel we just selected. Now if we add more channels to our favourites we should see them all here. So I've added outside TV to my favourites and now if we go to favourites you'll see we have all those channels here. Now recording a channel is pretty straightforward, you just select the channel you want and click the select button and the following window will pop up. Clicking on the red button you'll get the following window and we can choose to record the episode or the series. So I've chosen to record the remainder of the episode here. And you should get the following message to confirm it's recording. And viewing your recordings is just as easy, you just go to the DVR section and you'll see all your recording programs there. Now as you can see I've only used 4% of my 5 hours allocated in the cloud. Ok now moving on to settings, first thing you'll see in settings is the logout function and below that you'll see an option to add and remove TV provider. So if you are subscribed to any other content providers you can bring all that content to this application. Now if you are based in the US you're going to get a lot more provider options here including Lowcast which will give you a lot of free content all based on your location. Below that we have our DVR functions including upcoming recordings so here you can see all the recordings you've got scheduled and these are all recorded online to the cloud and I have enabled the trial on my device to try this out. Below that we've got manage series and from here we can see what series we are currently recording and below that we have scan channels and I recommend you scan channels each time you add a new provider and as you can see we've got a whole load of channels scanning in and of course if you're based in the US you're going to get a lot more free channels and here we can clear favourites if you want to and the last option is force guide refresh. So if you notice your EPG guide is out of sync with your TV programming and it's showing the incorrect program details you can click on this and it will resync the program details with the current time of day. Now to get this app you need to use Apto TV. Now if you don't have Apto TV I'm going to put a link in the top right hand corner now. This will open up a video showing you how to get Apto TV. Now once you have it just click on open and select the search option. And the app we're searching for is called Fitzy TV and it should come up as the second one across. So just select it and install it. Click on install and you'll get the message that the installation is complete. Just click on open. Now the first time you open up the app you need to register for an account. So we just follow the on screen instructions. So we need to go to the link and create an account. Ok, back on my computer I'm going to type in that link and press enter. So it gives you a few options here. You can actually log in with your Facebook account or you can use an email address to create the account. Now I previously created an account with an email address so I'm just going to log in. And then I just select already have an account login. Now this is where we put the link code we have from the app. Now my link code was gvjlux. So let's just type that in. And then we just click on the link tv button. And if we go back to the app on our device we should see it come through. And there you go guys, we've got access. Ok guys, if you found this video helpful, give us a like and maybe even a subscribe. And I'll see you all in the next one.